Hey, what's up guys? It's TOS Tuesday. Um, it is freezing cold outside and it is quite late at night, but I thought I have to get this video up today. So I'm still feeling very sick. I've been sick for the last five days. So excuse my voice and what I look like, but uh, it is TOS Tuesday. So let's get into the tips. Okay, so this method of stretching is something that I used almost on a daily basis when I was really struggling. The nice thing about this, it's easy to do. You can do it at your home. You can set it up anywhere. You can see I've just uh, tied the elastic to the security door. And all you need is a CrossFit elastic. Um, this one is quite a tough one, but you get different strengths. When I started out, when I was really struggling, it was a very light band. Um, now this one works best for me. Uh, so just build up your strength. You want to take it very slow. That's the one key thing that I want to emphasize is take this extremely slowly in the beginning. Do not as much movement when you start off. Don't pull your arm as far back. You want to take it very slowly and very lightly. So you can start off, try it for one day. Um, see, you might feel a bit stiff and sore the next day. So take a break and then do it the next day and just slowly build up your strength. That's what I did. I used an extremely light band. I did very little. And over time, over weeks, I built up the strength and just went harder and harder and stretched more and more until I actually felt a lot better. So what you want to do, hook up your elastic band and hold it if you can. If not, just place it on your wrist and you want to externally rotate, pull your thumbs back towards the back of you, which rotates your shoulder and outward. And the nice thing about this is it stretches your scalene muscles, which takes the pressure off your top rib, opens up your chest, stretches your pec minor, and it just gives you a lot more mobility in your shoulder and thoracic area, which is always a good thing and helps a lot with your TOS. So grab your band. I like to place it on my, my palm and externally rotate and step forward. So you want to step forward, get your arm behind you basically, while keeping that external rotation and from here you can turn slightly which is going to open up your chest you're going to feel your whole chest stretching and you're going to feel your pec minor stretching a lot and then from there you can tilt your head back diagonally a little bit to the side pulling away from that shoulder and you're going to feel that scalene stretching out so you can just hold this for a few seconds and just go to where you feel comfortable, where you can feel that stretch. You don't want to overstretch and you get it going to a flare up because you've overextended. So start very gently, very lightly, and just slightly stretch away. If it feels too sore, don't go as far. Once you're done, you can just rub the area and you're going to feel a lot more blood flow coming into your, your pec minor, which is great because that aids in recovery you'll slowly start lengthening your scalenes, which is a great thing. And you're gonna take all that load off your shoulder and you're gonna get better mobility. So it's a very simple stretch. You can do this on both sides just to stay in a good posture. This also trains your scapulas to stay back at a neutral position. And you're just gonna feel a whole lot better. So just add this to your, your daily routine. And you'll see that over a few weeks, you're gonna feel a whole lot better. Uh, the first time that I did this, I actually felt a lot better and then I had a little bit of a flare up the next day because I was doing it over and over because I was feeling so good. So just take it very slow in the beginning. You might feel great and then you do it again because you're overdoing it and then you don't feel so good. So just take it very slowly, but this is a great thing to help you with your TOS.